be player I can match you with my first chaotic video. It's a real video for anyone who doesn't fully understand the rules of chaotic. So, these are a bunch of my cards. Um, a Fire, Water, Wisdom. Uh, so again, a Perform Power 5, and then just a Fire, so you're probably gonna go first. I love Nimmer, he's amazing. Um, I'm gonna call this my Desert Rares deck. Ultra Rare Headmaster in Kaija. Ooh, this is Tran, once again. This is up YouTube, Speed Player 8 here, coming at you with another match on Trade Cards Online. What is up YouTube, Speed Player 8 here, and what I have is 288 packs of Secrets of Velocity Alliances Unraveled. Alright YouTube, what is up, Speed Player 8 here. So I do have a deck to show you guys in just a quick second, but first I just have um, one announcement. So, uh, as for for myself and for probably most of you guys, um, it's been uh, about a month since school started. Uh, now, I'm in high school, so that means that every year you get more and more homework. And so, every day, uh, I almost always have homework to do. And then, of course, there's projects. I'm working on one now. Uh, they're studying for tests, studying for quizzes. Um, you guys all know how this works, so, which means, and it's, it's a lot this year, like, I was not expecting it to be this much. Um, but I have less and less time, obviously, than for stuff I want to do, like, um, you know, just to sit and chill on my laptop, or, and make videos for you guys, obviously, which is what I want to do. But because of school, I have less and less time. So, but I am going to set a goal for myself, and that is to try and do one video per week, since, um, I was talking to one of my subscribers, and... I hadn't uploaded in a little while, so yeah, one video a week seems good. Um, it seems like a reasonable thing to do. If I don't have homework for, or don't have to study for anything, then I'll try to organize a match with somebody on Trade Cards Online. Um, there's a new player there from the old site that I want to do a match with, um, Zypher78. Uh, he has some good petty index, so yeah. I'll try to organize um, a match with people uh, when I can. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, so let's go into the deck. Alright guys, so this is um, a new all Marillion deck that I made, um, it's Wisdom, and uh, I call it Serenade of the Sea. So, it was based, it's based around my um, Patreon Wisdom and my Sealing the Sun Thief. So I pulled them a couple months ago, and I wanted to put, I want, obviously wanted to make a deck with them, and I made this deck, and I really like the way it plays, so this is a review. Uh, Cyrilene is the, one of the, he's like the Nadrin of... Marillion Fluid Morphs, because, well, you can see him strangling Nadrin there. So, yeah, he is the head honcho when it comes to Fluid Morphs. So he's also a Fluid Morph from Huge, he at minus 25 energy. Uh, and I'll show you, I'll tell you about his stats and why they're important in a sec. So, his first ability is pay 4 and dispel target non Marillion Magic. Second ability, pay 5 Magic counters, play a Magic card in your opponent's discard pile of any tribe without paying its Magic cost, and move that card from the game. So, for example, if your opponent played a Melody Mirage at some point, and you, you can pay 5, and then use that Melody Mirage for yourself. Uh, I have him with a Weightless Energy Vessel. Now, normally, I run an ASA Mind Probe, and you guys can do that. But mine only has 75 Wisdom, and I know that um, could potentially be maxed. I don't think it is. I know it's not mid-room, because you can. I've seen one with 70. The reason I don't run him with ASA Mind Probe is because I don't think that wisdom is high enough, and I want the protection from Mugic, and I'll show you why. So here we have two awesome Underworlders, two of my favorite Underworlders, Copond High Muge and Nyvena. So Nyvena with maxed out wisdom, which I have, the only two of them I have, they both have maxed out wisdom of 100. Now, since we know that for every single chaotic stat, the difference between the maximum and the minimum is always 20. So the lowest wisdom you're gonna get on Nyvena is 80 which is more than 75, so as a mind probe won't, won't work against Nyvena, so say my opponent plays a Cannon of Casualty and just an improvisational melody, Cyrilene is done. Secondly, Copond. So this one has 75 wisdom, uh, my other one has uh, 70, so if I gave Cyrilene a mind probe and I was facing this Copond, and then this Copon can hit him with one cannon of casualty and TKO him. So that's why I just want the guaranteed protection from Mugic with the Wheel of Energy Vessel, which it gives me. So that's good. Working our way up to the middle row, we have Zistorx to give my guys extra energy. 
buy a motorcycle, you're going to sacrifice for some offense. Offense. You can give him an Azamite Mind Probe, though, because he has 80, and that's usually where I want to sit if I'm going to have Azamite Mind Probe. I have one Zistor here. Or, not Zistor, but the Cooper. That's Zistor. This one has 45 energy, 100 wisdom, which is maxed. All those nice abilities, which help out with your wisdom. Shard of the Staunch to defend. You can run a, um, a freshwater shard, but I like having the option of defending everyone. So he gains 15 energy and defended water, so his main, pur his main purpose is to defend these two. Mostly Cyrilene. Uh, up front, I have Boam. He is one of the few Ultra Rare Marillions. He's the only Ultra Marillion from Forged Unity. Uh, I really like him. I got him last Christmas. I think he's extremely underrated because he ha mine has 95 Wisdom, uh, 60 Power and Courage, and 35 Speed, 45 Energy. And he also has the cool ability of um, taking away 5 Energy for each element your opponent does not have. So if you were facing um, the Rise of the Oligarch Ivana, she has 0 Elements, so she'd lose 20 Energy if she didn't have a gear that gives her Elements. He has the Coral Magma Shard. To put his energy up to 70 at least, he gains fire and defender chieftain, so he can defend his sword as well. Of course, he always sh uh, corals are always strongest when they have their shards. Uh, here's my better Kubra, max energy, max wisdom. Uh, stats, other stats are mediocre, but he also has the crawl magma shard to give him fire, 25 energy, and defender chieftain. So you're looking at two frontliners, both with at least 70 energy, fire, and defender chieftain. Uh, so these two Kubras can also defend my Iraq tab here, 45 energy, 95 wisdom, puts the challenge 50, uh, wisdom 50 on all your attacks, making them deal potentially an additional 10 damage. I gave him an Izzy Mind Probe uh, to protect against Tartarak Psy. So if Tartarak wants to use his ability, he has to sacrifice one Muji counter to make Iraq tab gain 35, which would put him at um, 130 wisdom, and then Tartarak would won't be able to hit him again. Because the easy amount of approval protect him. Uh, alrighty, so that is all the creatures and battle gear. Let's see our magic. So, there are only a few more here ceiling, so obviously you want everything to be cast by him. One Geo Flourish to heal 15, and it's pretty much the only type of healing thing I ever use with Merlins because you can't really use anything else. Um, if you have Heptad's Crown, you can use Song of Resurgence, but obviously not using that. I have two Denial for any of the deep, you can sub one of these for Cadence Clash if you like, but you're going to get them up on counters pretty quickly. Harmonics of Water, like 95% of your attacks are water based, so to get more damage and gain more counters and to win faster. I have, let's see, the Intimidating Melody of Mar, which is after I pointed out, it's kind of like Zemul of the Can. Uh, some music and activate abilities may not be played, so if you want to play this right off the bat to stop something from happening, then you can do that. Cost 3. And lastly, Intimidating Melody of Mar, very useful with the Challenge Chieftains. Drop any discipline you want by 30, so you can probably get your challenge almost all the time. And really the only tribe that's going to hold up your wisdom is Overworlders and other Marillion decks. Um, okay, let's see your location deck. Alrighty, so one location I am running is Nadjarin's Castle, and this is for swapping music. So say you have... this is mostly because um, after a certain point your Sterling is going to have a bunch of counters. And so his ability is um, just, is pretty much Denial or Frame of the Deep if you're not facing a Marillion deck. So then you can discard this and bring back another more useful music, like your Harmonics or your Giro Flourish. Or Intimidating Melody Mar, all that, or we can pick one of those again, thanks to Nadrid's Castle. And it's initiative music counters, Super Air Alliance is unraveled. Next location is, we have two, next locations rather, two Overworld Library, obviously, Water Initiative, Outperform Wisdom 5, you're going to get an initiative, and potentially making all your attacks deal at least 15 damage if you get the challenge. We have a Rapasak and Shine Grid to get um, Cyrilene more counters. One Rapazak condensation sorry, let me move in. So condensation ceremony stops non-water decks from using music counters to use them for anything. I have Glacier Plains, the Marillion Melting Camp, so initiative fluid morph, and this works out really well. Um, so even if so the ability is at the end of combat each player may sacrifice two music counters. If a player does not, their engage feature loses fifteen each discipline. This works fine, really with the two Kubras, 
because even if you don't pay them, say you and your opponent, uh, both of you don't play the cost, and say their wisdom is um, not 100. Uh, so they're going to lose 50, uh, and then potentially, you know, that's just helpful because you're going to have a bunch of Mudri counters, and then you can pay that more, you're more likely to be able to pay that than your opponent, and that's going to help out with your challenge, and then just um, destroy other stat decks that are, say, running Courage or Power. I just feel like it's been way too long explaining that. You gotta see what it does. It's, it's a really cool location, it's a really good really location. The Riverlands, Initiative Wisdom, and when you deal water damage, you heal 5 energy, really good. Bottles Arsenal, because your Marillions are extremely dependent on their shards, so if those get destroyed, you want to be able to bring them back. You can also use it with the Buy More Cycle, and it's Initiative Wisdom. Final two locations, I really, really love this location, Shardcrafters Workshop, we got two of them. So initiative, pretty much every single ability works in your favor. Initiative Wisdom, that's good. Uh, shards gain equipped creatures deals an additional 5 damage. All your fighters are going to deal an additional 5. Let's of course always keep in mind the potential for just something with Rakdab. And Battle Gear may not be flipped face down, so no Gear Glissando, no Surprising Rifts, no Gear Grinds, uh, no Elements Oxidation, none of that, so you're not going to lose energy from your shards. And that's you will see the attack stack. So, two Fluid Flame, two in case of Numen Void Land. So you can have your water or Carnival of Confusion. Uh, two. What's that, guys? Alrighty, so we got two quick exit for wisdom. One Lequestant Swirl for a water attack for 10 damage. You can use um, a Burning Rain as well. But I just like the extra damage. You usually use it for the final blow as well. You got two Piercing Brilliance for wisdom, and then to drop your opponent's wisdom by 15 each. Two Flood Force for 15 water damage each. Uh, another thing I love about this deck is I have two Rain Spears for 30 damage each, so Water Wisdom, you're going to gain a counter, and outperform in the Overworld Library. We got two Outfreeze for so their Water Attack, and then it's essential, absolutely essential to have Wisdom. So if you're facing Gantrek or you just need a Wisdom Boost, like say you're in the, uh, you're in the Marillion Melting Camp, and you don't pay, so what you can do with this is say you have one of these in your hand, you just purposely don't pay and then gain the 100 wisdom with that and that'll work. So two of those, that's really useful. And then we have two Unsanity for water damage and then challenge wisdom. You don't get the air, but that's okay. Two Krell Crush for 20 damage and water. Invader's Tactics for uh, 10, 15 water damage. Thermal Rings, because these two have Fire and Water Wisdom. And lastly, for a 2 build point, I threw in a Mind Strike. So some things you can change up with this deck. You can run 2 Mind Strike instead of 2 Rain Spears, but the reason I don't... I usually don't run too many build points because of Iliar. Because um, most people usually don't have Iliar, so you don't really face them that much. But if you do, then you're, he's reducing your some of your heavier attacks. Heavy to mid attacks to zero damage, which is not good, so that's why I kind of try to stay away from them. Usually want to have some variety, so twos and threes are good. Alright guys, so this has been Super A with my Serenade of the Sea deck. Um, I might do a match with this soon. Um, so just some things about uh, Chaotic and how it's going. Of course the petition. Uh, since I made that video, and well, Denzel Gaming pointed it out to me, uh, he's one of my subscribers. We've gone up about 100 signatures, which is really good, and I think we're getting more every day. So that is awesome. If you guys haven't signed it, please just uh, sign it, enter your email. Um, I found this uh, other channel uh, doing some a few chaotic videos, a couple of them actually. Uh, I put their videos onto my uh, other chaotic videos playlist, and so I'll link to that in the description below, and you guys can check that out. I have like 70 videos. If you're looking for something specific, just scroll through it and you'll find it. Um, this deck is on Trade Cards Online, so you can vote on it there. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm Supleray. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed my deck. And don't forget to leave your comments about the deck, and subscribe for more chaotic content. Alright, see you guys.